Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm back again with yet another video because I'm a talkative girl and I want y'all to hear me out. All right. So, um, I know there's a lot of talk going on about like feminism and stuff like that. And you know, like for like a long time, not for like a long time, but you know, I never hated a woman. Hate. I never hated being a woman, but I did feel like at times I was at a disadvantage and there were certain things that I had no control over. There were certain things that I was not allowed to be a part of, you know, being, just being a woman. But, you know, I have noticed over the past probably like few years because I didn't always feel this way, but I have noticed over the past few years how much power women have. And I don't mean power as in like having power over the world or power over men or trying to control men and stuff like that. That has, this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like, you know, the way that, you know, a woman's existence, the way that a woman's touch, a woman's softness, a woman's voice could, you know, you know, de-escalate a situation, if that's the word. You know, because I have, you know, I have gotten myself out of trouble, you know, just based on being a woman. And not only just because I'm a woman, but I'm not a bad looking woman at that. So, you know, but I have noticed that I was able to get myself out of, out of a lot of, a t out of a lot of, you know, situations that could have been trouble, you know, being just, just based on being a woman. And a lot of a lot of women might not look at it like that, but um, I enjoy being a woman, and I enjoy because I was like when I was younger, like probably back in high school, I never wore makeup. I didn't care about dressing up. I didn't really care about my hair like that. But you know, I have just you know realized what the you know you know I have realized that the way that I that you take care of yourself can just make you, you know, make you feel good and, you know, draw people to you and have people be attracted to you because you look good. But, you know, this is a different video. It has nothing to do with that, but I'm just trying to make a point. But, you know, over the past couple of years, like, I really enjoy being a woman because, you know, I have gotten to... I wouldn't say conflicts, but, you know, I have been in, like, you know, weird situations where I could have been in trouble and say, like, I had a run-in with, you know, a guy who was in a position of power and I was just able to persuade him to do certain things, you know, just based off me being, I'm not going to just say it's just because I'm a woman, but, you know, the way that I act in the way that my aura is the way that I present myself around men and I noticed that when I I'm in like a feminine like I'm like in a feminine you know aura or something like that you know how it can just easily like you know make men you know not be so aggressive like not be so mean not be so tough or combative you know and a lot of women don't realize that that's why you know a lot of times they get mad at themselves or they can't stand men for certain reasons or they feel like they want to have control of a situation or power of a situation but little do they realize you know we have all the power in the world and I don't mean that in a bad way so you know don't take that offensively to you know, the men that's watching my channel, you know, I'm not saying it like that, but, you know, we as women, we do have power and, um, it's something that a man can't do, you know, even when it comes down to like, say like the gay community, they want to be women. So just think about how powerful that we are, you know, the way that we can get things from men and the way that you know we can attain certain things or have things given to us you know 
and this world is just you know here to make us comfortable you know you just have to step into your step into that you know what i'm saying and a lot of women like you know they don't really see what's going on in their own little bubble you know but i see what's going on in my bubble so i'm a, i'm able to i'm a, this is not to brag neither this is not to sound sinister but i'm able to manipulate certain situations to go my way just based off my feminine nature and a lot of times you know women would say you know just be feminine just be feminine and like at times you know i thought it was bullshit i'm like what what are you talking about i am feminine but i wasn't feminine and I know how to really, you know, take myself out of, you know, this aggressive, this aggressive type of, you know, um, what's the word for it? Um, when it comes down like to like my body language and, and based off how I feel and stuff like that, you know, I'm able to, you know, manipulate certain situations to go my way. You know, just based off me being, you know, a kind person, you know, me being open, you know, I'm definitely not a bitch. I mean, I'm, I can be a bitch, but I'm not a bitch. I'm really not. Um, But, you know, I understand that certain people might be intimidated because I'm a black woman. And I get that a lot. People be intimidated because I'm a black woman. And... I think that's where a lot of black women's anger come from because, you know, even though we might look like we're angry, we might look like we're bitter, you know, we have people assuming the worst things about us and it's not really our character, you know? But, you know, when we get it thrown in our face so much, when people say that you're bitter and you're mean and stuff like that, it's like, I'm not trying to look mean on purpose. Like, you know how people have a resting bitch face? It's not my fault that, you know, I have a mean demeanor. I'm not a mean person, so... It's very offensive when people call me bitter, when people call me angry, and they don't even know me. They don't know me from a can of paint, and I have people assuming the worst things about me. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's only black women that go through these experiences, but, you know, it seems like, you know, being black, you feel things on a deeper level and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, you know, the energy people give to me, I'm going to give them back. But, you know, I have realized that, you know, just because somebody is negative towards me doesn't mean that I have to be negative towards them because, you know, um, that's their karma, not mine. You know, I don't have to face their demons. So if somebody is being a certain way towards me, you know, I just brush it off and I keep it moving. You know, I don't allow that to, you know, you know turn me into, turn me into them. I don't want to be them. So... I'm not going to react to certain situations and I'm not going to respond to certain situations because I can see that what you're trying to bring out of me and I don't want to be miserable. I'm not a miserable person, um, but you can definitely easily become miserable if you allow, if you are not strong enough and if you allow people's emotions, people's opinions to get to you, it can break you down. It really could break you down and a lot of times, you know, people will try to, you know, tell you who you can, who who you are and who you can be based off their insecurities. You know, don't never stoop low. Don't never feel like you have to stoop low to make somebody else feel comfortable because, you know, be who you are. Being who you are is the key to success. And, you know, a lot of people are afraid to be who they are. That's what I think it is, you know. A lot of people are just feeling stuck and you know, in a dead end situation because, you know, they got so many people t trying to tell them how to act, society trying to tell them who they can and can't be and who they are as a person when only you know who you are. And if somebody's in intimidated by that, then that's their problem. But, you know, I just wanted to, you know, say that little thing about, you know, you know, enjoy being a woman. And this has nothing to do with being a black woman. It's not a black thing, but enjoy being a woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, you know, things will go in your favor if you just, you know, tap into, you know, if, if you tap into like a higher conscious level, you know, some people are vibrating down here and you're vibrating up there. So, you know, you have to really know how to play your role, you know, play your cards right and you'll get what you want out of life. Um, but, you know, that's all I really wanted to say. So, you know, 
later.